Now here's the farm I wanted to walk through, which I've done lots of times in the past. You can walk through the farm and come out before you go into Epigorge. As I did the path along those, the other side of those fields, and then down and across. If I'd come out at Ebber Gorge earlier, I might have been able to come back through. But I'm glad I've done found that route that I've just discovered. I had my own route once, but if um, they've parcelled the land up with electric fencing now, and it's good really because safety. And there's that lovely long route. Yeah. I've been walking down that in a minute, all the way down. In peace. The only problem I might have, when I do get to, down to the bottom near the road and got to cross over and go over a stile, there's a possibility there could be cows in that field. Now if that's the case, what I've got to do, I have to walk on the road for a short period of time and pick up another little track which still takes me to pretty but I, I might have to do that because I will not go in the field with cows not unless they are quite some way away but the path I did earlier was the other side of this field along there there's the aerial look I walked all the way along and I've done a whacking great circle I could have gone back to pretty a different way but that meant walking on a road for a you know, for a bit. I thought I'd prefer this. Enjoying the summer. This is summer, everyone. And I'm just checking I've got it turned on. Yeah, I wish the light was brighter on it. This is summer. Look. All the grass is long. There's a couple of poppies in the field there. A couple of little poppies... Um, cropping up look I don't know if they come out like I said I can't see with this viewfinder but somewhere around there um, there's some poppies that could get filled with poppies that field couldn't I? I can see quite a few emerging and of course I fitted this in rather than do it at the weekend when there's going to be a festival or whatever it used to be it used to be pretty fair that would be packed with people. I mean, they're putting toilets up, gazebos, stages probably. Um, I've got over here before any of that. But what I'm looking forward to when I get back to Cheddar, because I'm going Cheddar way, is a Savoy sausage, chips and pie. They always give you too much. So, we're doing a parallel path to what we did earlier. I can't see a soul out either. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Of course, tomorrow night, Friday, you've got the Ladies England team having a match, I can't remember who they're playing, but it's a, a qualifying match for their Euros for 2025. We have, of course, ladies have won the Euros, England, before now, so... And it's still very new. I mean, up to a couple of years ago, I'd never seen the ladies or women's football match ever. It's the same with the cricket. I've not been on the they do they put that on telly now and they can play out at lords it is all good it's it's it should happen um and a lot of people would be in, in, would think oh you must be a lesbian if you want to watch women's football you know there's all that sort of terrible stuff that people suggest you must be um or, so if you like men's football, oh yeah, you must be a lesbian as well, you want to be a bloke. You know, we, as women, we have to, we don't win whatever we do. So, it's a, it's a game, it's a skillful game, anyone can play it. And I, I've, always, I've always enjoyed football, I wish I, when I was young, right, I was 
wing attack in the netball team at school and I used to like playing, I could be, a, I was a runner. Not a fast one, long distance. But I'd love to have been able to play football. I used to play it in the field when I was a kid with the wheel. We used to muck in and play. But when you went to school, no, girls don't do football. You know, it's so, and it's, it's taken a lot to change it. There's still little boys, six or seven, who don't want to play with girls. Or well, they start to change. Obviously, when they get the old testosterone going and they get muscles and all that, it is different. They are stronger. There's no doubt about it, as far as that's concerned. But it doesn't make you unequal, basing everything on your muscle strength. Anyway, I'm glad they can play. None of my granddaughters are interested though. They're all into makeup and nails and stuff like that. <coughs> and hair. I feel so blessed, says the Ariel. Oh, I really do. Summer, July the 11th, 2024, and I'm out here. Not in a little box of a flat, which I'm okay with. It's a refuge. It's a retreat. It's a place of... It's a den. But I love it out here. Oh, there's a car coming down. Right, but change your walk in that way. Right, right it's right, ten past it four in the afternoon. I've been out walking since ten o'clock this morning. So we're doing six hours so far. We've got a good hour yet to get back to the van, to the car. Um, I've kept my shoes perfectly clean until now. And they're really muddy now. Up to now, they've been kept perfectly clean. And cow, well, I'm very fortunate because cows have been in here as fresh pack. So they must have moved them in. Maybe they move them into another field. I don't know, in the evenings or something. Look at this lovely little wall. Look at these old buildings and everything. Oh, let's just pull my jeans up. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, quite often when I've been here in the winter months, I go that way across the fields, but I can't guarantee there's no cows there. So basically, I'm going to join a little pathway in a minute, just in case there are some up there, because they do often have them up there. I don't want to go all the way up there and then think, oh no, and have to walk back. So what I'm doing, I'm going on a track now, and a little... Bought some houses. I'm enjoying every minute of this, by the way. There's no pressure about time. <sighs> uh, now. Yes. Uh, lost its blue sky now, and the sun's disappeared. But and this is where the a lot of the potholers hang out here. Now uh, they got their caravans, and there's the farmhouse there. I don't know if they do tents as well here. And up there beyond the caravans, you'll have the pretty barrows that are coming to view shortly. Where I was earlier today. These don't look like I've got anyone in them at the moment. But I expect that will change if they come for the festival. Yeah, cows all standing up now. That lot were all sat down earlier. Well, look at that. There was one of them, you know, in, in um, Grove Park and it went missing. Hello. Did I take a picture of you? Yeah.
Yeah. So there we go. We were over there. We'd done the pretty hills earlier. Hours and hours ago now. The, uh, you can't see them at the moment very well, but the barrows are up there. There's some cows. I went all the way down, 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 down. Past those, the white cottage there, or cream cottage. And right across. Three, four, five, six fields. Then down to Ebber Gorge. And, um. That's what I did. And then I've come full circle round. I've come full circle round. And I, I did want to, I deliberately wanted to do this path. I could have come down here earlier, like done this first. But uh, I didn't want to. I wanted to do here. So the cows this morning, the cows were a long way off, right over on the eight pretty barrow site. So I, I, I wasn't um, too close to them. And uh, yeah, it was, it's been a good walk. I mean, like I said, I haven't done that, that walk. I've done a bit of this walk, I think, when I did. I might have got off at West Bagborough. I did. I have done this walk. Part of it. I've done part of it in the last two years. I have. But um, I can't remember. It'll be, it'll be on YouTube somewhere. Let's just check it's on. Yeah. So we're over walking up this lane, which has got a name. This lane has got a name. Sometimes I've walked up through these fields, by the way, and come out a gate back there. Yeah, I've, I've walked over from there. There's a big stile over that way. And there's just swallows around here. Potholes. I might have even got in that gate once, you know? Look how overgrown it is. Yeah, I've got a feeling. I I used to climb through that gate. It's amazing how things change, isn't it? Of course, everything looks very overgrown at the moment. There's been, like, um, massive growth going on with everything. It's uh, taken everyone by surprise, I think. Oh yeah, there's a building in there. Can't see in there anymore. <laughs> wow, it just shows you how I think it's overgrown. That's the um, potholing place where they um, they can sleep. It's a meeting place, you know. Sleepovers and that sort of thing. A very old um, barn there. Yeah, that's, uh, they were old things from the war, I think. Nissan, is it Nissan Tops? <sighs> yeah, people do them up now. Do they? Yeah. Oh, look, there's one of those old caravans. Yes, a nice another little drove, you see. This is. It's another little drove. It's getting warm again.
Because I've only smiled now. <sighs> yeah. You know, I don't think I've done this for a while because basically when I did that Wells walk, I was keeping to pretty and just doing that tight circuit, I think. I might have come on this route though. It's possible. Hello. You can't see the, the, the burrows, but they're up there. They look like rams. My Maggie's dead. It's horrible, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. This is horrible knowing she's gone. See, I'm going back. And um, she won't be on there. So I used to sort of knock on the door. Just quickly, just go in for quick, 10 minutes. I didn't that overpowers her. Go and say hello to Maggie and then I'll, I might say I'll just pop home and I'll come back with some sweeties for Maggie. It was an old thing we had going for all well five years there. All gone. All ended. That chapter gone. Little Maggie gone. Dear little face. Dear little body. Gone. Which is horrible. I've been able to forget about it most of the time. I've been on my walk. <sighs> and I'm out in this place reminds me of dead people actually. I know it sounds weird, but when I'm out in these places, I often think of my sister Jude, my parents, friends I had. And um But I do like being out here though, and it can sometimes make me emotional, but there's nothing wrong with that. This is nature. This is why I come on these peaceful walks. I don't find any of that negative. Of course, if there are cows in these fields up here, I've got, I'll have to go walk all the way along here to the road and then go back the roadway like I came, like I came up this morning. It doesn't matter. One way or another, it doesn't really matter at all which way I go. I usually go across the fields, but I won't if there's cows. Not a mention of a bus for a while, is it? Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to turn off for a bit now. I'll come on again in a minute.